Weber of Livery Ministries. Here today in Starbucks, my husband Jeff Weber is filming this and I just want to say thank you Jeff. But I also have a message of joy for you. Happy Mother's and Father's Day. Recognizing and coping with the loss of a child can be hard. I decided to combine this video because my message of how we respond to the whole day's celebration is the same. Well, I'd like to get you up to speed on King David's story in 2 Samuel chapters 11 and 12. I'm actually going to be par um, paraphrasing from the message in the Amplified Bible. Well, David slept with Bathsheba, a married woman. Bathsheba got pregnant and they had an unplanned pregnancy. David is ashamed that he got Bathsheba pregnant. He has Uriah, her husband, brought back from the battlefield. He tries a couple of times to get Uriah to sleep with Bathsheba so that people would think that the pregnancy was Uriah's child and not his. He tries by bribing Uriah with a gift of food and he gets him drunk, encouraging him to go home and sleep with Bathsheba. David's plans are foiled by Uriah both times not sleeping with his wife. Uriah instead slept at the king's palace with the servants because his masters were roughing it in the field and he felt guilty eating and drinking and enjoying his wife. Well, David's plans are foiled again and David has him return to the battlefield where he is put on the front lines and he dies in battle. After Uriah dies, Bathsheba mourns her husband. After the mourning is over, David sends for Bathsheba and takes Bathsheba as his wife. Their child they had was a son. And the Lord sent Nathan, a prophet, to David to give him an opportunity to get right with him privately. David realizes that he has sinned against no one but God. Nathan says that the Lord forgives you, but because of your blasphemous behavior, the child must die. David spent a week in prayer and fasting for their sick child, hoping that the Lord would have mercy for him and let the child live. On the seventh day, child died. The servants were afraid to tell him. What do we do now? While the child was living, he wouldn't listen to them. And if they tell him now, there's no telling what he will do. David perceived that the child was dead. And asked the servant, is he dead? And he said, yes. David got up and washed himself, got dressed, and went to the sanctuary to worship the Lord came back to eat. The servants asked, what's going on with you? And David responded, well, while the child was alive, I wept thinking God might have mercy on me and the child would live. In 2 Samuel 12, 23, that's when David responds back and says, but now he is dead. So why should I fast? I can I bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he will not return to me. This scripture gives us hope that we can be reunited with our child. I can be sure of reuniting with my child in heaven because I have accepted Jesus as my Lord right after the abortion when I realized what I had done. There's so much that these chapters reveal that we can learn from about unplanned pregnancies, shame, murder, and forgiveness. But I really wanted to 
focus on helping you get reunited with your child. David had an unplanned pregnancy and was so ashamed that his actions ended up in the life of an innocent man. This wasn't the way David wanted to bring his first heir into the world. The same thing is happening today. People get pregnant, we are so ashamed at the way it happened, and the shame leads us to hurting our children. This wasn't the right way that we wanted to give life to our first children. There are no unplanned pregnancies. God doesn't make mistakes. When you get pregnant, it may not be the ideal living situation that you wanted to give life to your child in, but the child isn't a mistake. I like to call it an unexpected pregnancy to you instead of an unplanned. So maybe you aren't into following the God stuff, but you have fathered or mothered a child that was lost to death for abortion. The scripture tells us through King David's story that his child went to heaven. So maybe you want to be reunited with your child but you just aren't in the Christianity. Well, in order to be reunited with your child, you have to get to heaven by becoming a believer. So I'd like to invite you to pray with you and give you an opportunity to receive Jesus. Dear Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. Come to my heart and meet me where I am. I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for dying on the cross and rising from the dead so that I can live. I desire the gift of eternal life that you promise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, thanks for watching. Now you can be reunited.